Hey everyone, welcome to PassFab channel. If you found this video, you're probably staring at a scary message on your iPhone that says, iPhone is disabled, connect to iTunes. This usually happens after too many incorrect passcode attempts, maybe by you, a friend, or someone else. It's a panic-inducing moment, but don't worry, we're here to help you fix it. In this video, we'll guide you through the recovery process step by step. There are two effective methods to solve this problem. The first method is the use of iTunes or Finder for Mac. This is the traditional method. First, make sure you have a computer system with iTunes installed, preferably the computer with the iTunes you have previously paired your iPhone with. Put your iPhone into recovery mode. The steps for this are different depending on your iPhone model. If your iPhone has a Face ID, like the iPhone X to iPhone 17 or newer, quickly press and release the volume up button, then quickly press and release the volume down button. Then press and hold the side button until you see the recovery mode screen. The computer should detect a device in recovery mode. A pop-up will appear on the screen giving you two options, restore or update. You need to choose restore. This will download the software for your iPhone and completely erase the device, including the passcode. This process can take some time, depending on your internet speed. Once the download is complete, the computer will wipe the iPhone and install a fresh, clean version of iOS. But there's a caveat here. Find My iPhone needs to be turned off previously before this process works. Now, the second method is the use of a professional software called PassFab iPhone Unlock. This software is highly recommended, and the process is very simple and straightforward. Use the links below to download and install the software on your computer system. Launch it and you'll arrive here. You will see a couple of options. Select the first one here, which is Unlock iOS Screen. You then connect your locked iPhone via a USB cable. The software provides easy on-screen instructions to guide you into putting your device into recovery mode, which is a very necessary step for the process to work. Once your iPhone is in recovery mode and detected by the software, click download to begin to download the correct firmware package it needs. After the download is complete, you just click start. Now, a very important warning. This process will erase all data on your device. This is a security feature of iOS itself. If you don't have a backup somewhere, you will lose all your data. In just several seconds to a few minutes, your iPhone will restart and be right back at the Hello Setup screen, completely unlocked and ready to be set up as new. And that's how you fix the iPhone is disabled connect to iTunes error. It's a straightforward process. If this guide saved the day for you, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the PassFab channel for more tech tips. Thanks for watching.